you're at your home, your happy place. I'm not gonna lie, it's the same day as the last video. Sometimes, like I'm at the cottage, I do as many videos as I can get done before I go home. So I do an outfit change so that it looks a little different for you instead of a long continuation. But I'm, I feel like I'm having a bad hair day. Uh, I used some kind of curling or flat iron that was fat and I don't know, I'm just, I like how it ended, the ends, but I'm not a fan of what's going on up here. And I've tried putting it up and I just can't come to anything that I like. So hopefully you can live with the look. <laughs> because I do like to look, I know you're looking at my face, I do look like to look as presentable as possible. What are we doing today? Oh my gosh, okay. I'm so excited to draw in my last video, which was the tablescape at the cottage to just over here. I mean, it's all one big room. Um, I had enough stuff. Oh my goodness. I could have done a haul between the last time I was here and this time, but there's no time for hauls because fall is here and I need to get these videos out so that if you're looking for these things, you can go get them yourself quickly. And then the decorating's done and you're inspired, etc. So that's why I'm skipping. I love to do hauls. Don't get me wrong. They're one of my favorite things. <laughs> I love to talk about what I bought and why. But let's start here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to show this to you. I knew I had that picture for years. Let's see. I'm trying to get it up there. Here we go. Does that look familiar, you guys? <laughs> Finally, we found it in storage. I was looking for it last year. If I'd have found it in time, it probably would have ended up on the wall over by my tabletop. So it looks familiar because it's one of the plates in a bigger print in a picture. So all of that is tied. It's the apple. And so, yeah, I have a, ba a bowl of pears over there, but believe it or not, I've got green apples as well. They're just too green for this gold look. So I had, let me grab it. I had this mirror up there and it's a beautiful mirror, but I didn't change anything. There's a wire on the back of this and there's a wire on the back of that. So... Uh, normally, would I have hung that that high? Maybe not, but because of what I'm putting there, it's going to work just fine, and I'm okay with that. And even if I didn't do that, I could have put another nail in the wall or whatever I'm using, uh, anchor a little lower, because it would still be hidden if I decide to put this back. But truth be told, I have a ton of mirrors, and um, I'm just going to enjoy. I don't want to get rid of them. This one is... I don't know what it's made of. I feel like it's just plastic, but it's very beautiful and I'm likely to hang it in um, the foyer over there. So it's not like it's leaving the house. All right, so let's decorate my mantle. I wanted you to see, oh, there's the basket. I was talking about those flowers. I'll pick them up in a bit. Just wanted you to see my fireplace. So that's a marble like it is Carrera marble, so it's gray and white, and then a white, very formal looking uh, frame. We had the choice of like two things. I mean, when you build a house the way we did, these are basically cookie cutter houses. You go to a design center and you have the choice of A price range, B price range, C price range. And that pertains to your cabinets, your uh, doorknobs, your faucets, whatever, your counters, and your fireplaces. So um, I don't remember what level this was, but it was the one that looked the most normal to me. I didn't want something really out there. So I'm gonna ask you guys, I, I would be willing to cover the marble. I really wanted the marble just because it was the nicest looking thing they had. Not, don't really feel that marble in this house for real. I don't know, but here's one thing I have thought about. I have a lot of black furniture here and black cabinets, and I'm not thinking black, but if you ever watch Adventures in Decorating, Becca's house is like 
Uh, she paints everything white. In fact, um, I haven't commented on this one yet, but she was talking about her fingernail. She had white paint on it. <laughs> I thought, what did she paint white now? But she has been painting some things a darker color. I think it's more of a green, a gray green. I can't remember the name of it. But I'm thinking about a deep gray. I've got a couple of grays that I like. So I'm asking you, because I'm not going to do it. My husband, this is going to be a fight if I do it. I've mentioned it to him. Then I have to pull the, well, don't you trust me? I'm a decorator card. <laughs> but let's be honest, everybody makes mistakes. So I don't think it would be a mistake, but I don't know if I'd love it. So anyway, I want some feedback on that. Let's decorate this. Uh, can you, if you were here for my last video, which was the tabletop, what do you think's going on the mantle? Do you know? Well, here it comes. Yep, I'm popping this one up there. I told you it looked beautiful on that table, and it does. But I needed something substantial up here, and this did the trick. It has the uh, cream pumpkins, pine cones, some leaves, different kinds of leaves. Um, did I already say hydrangea? Maybe I did. And then I've got the sage pumpkin um, candles. All of this was from Home Goods last year, but you know, they still have stuff there this year. So um, I'm thinking by the price that I saw while I was in the store, these are about $29 to $39, somewhere in there. Now, let me move you closer. What I love is if I had that too low, that picture, it would have not given any space there. So it would have all blended together too much. I love how this is reaching in to that and now it becomes one, but you need this in here to make this still stand out. So. I really think that's pretty. Let me pop that up so you can see a little bit more. And I'm sorry of the reflecting of the lights. I don't even have my, um, I don't have my ring light. I have a ring light here, but the plug for it, I don't know where it is. So, all right, now, okay, here's one of those things. Uh, did I have anything to go on the sides? I did not. So in my mind, I'm thinking, what, 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 what? The easiest thing I would go to if I had it would have been some kind of topiary something very you know just green and tall I need tall here because this is very tall and little stuff here doesn't it just won't pull it off but is anybody selling topiaries right now um not where I've shopped um maybe uh, the place that I haven't been to in a long time is um what is it called it, I, it's like a garden, home and garden type place. It's not home. Maybe it is home sense. I don't know. Anyway, I haven't been there. They might have them. So I very reluctantly last night put something in my cart and brought it home. And I'm going to doctor it up later in the video. But right now I'm just going to put it up. Um, what, and you're probably going, well, that looks very fall and how wonderful. But... This is, I mean, it's wheat for heaven's sakes. I had to pay almost $20 for some, some dried wheat. I, I mean, it has a nice little cardboard base on it and whatever, but I'm not a fan of dried flowers. I hate them. In fact, I'm thinking about putting, I, I watched somebody doing hairspray on stuff. I think it's um, creating with Nikki or no, no, I'm sorry. Creating with Mimi. She was uh, spraying hairspray on pampas grass, and I'm thinking, you know, maybe if I did that, maybe this wouldn't, like, dry, uh, dry and break. I just, storing dried flowers, I, I just don't, I don't love them. But, you know what? Let me put it up there and see what you think. It was the perfect height. It's the perfect color. It does have texture and it's fall. I mean, the topiary wouldn't have been fall. It just would have been a topiary. So I'm loving it. 
Of course they had two. And again, I was like so mad at myself spending $40 on stuff that people leave, you know, lying in the farm fields. But <laughs> okay, now I guess I could have been done. But to me, this is a lot of space. And you know, I do keep things a little bit simpler, but um, I still wanted to add some personality. Uh, I got this, these two gorgeous little guys at Hobby Lobby in the last year. Um, I love them. They, you know, they're kind of carved and stuff. And yeah, they're higher and lower, but I wanted it a little bit more dramatic. I looked all over the place, you guys, for a riser. I see something here that I could, now it would have been too big. I couldn't find, I couldn't find the kind. I just needed a cube. So I took some coasters, stack of four in wood. I like that, it's so cute. So I needed to do something on the other side using what I have. I'm not sure I might add a little something to this as I find things, but um, I pulled this out of my bedroom. It was, I've got like three of these. Um, they hung in my house. Somebody had tied ribbons to them when I bought them in the store. I think I had three of them in a row. So, but they still have these on them and I'm just going to pop that in there. And I like that those pieces are, um, let me make sure these are in the same spot. There we go. I like that these are both kind of bronzy looking and everything. I don't know. I like how that works. So here's my fireplace mantle. It's not screaming fall. But it does have pumpkins and not a bit of orange. My inspiration originally were those dishes. So when I got over into this area, I was looking for a pillow because to me, pillows have a lot of, uh, they communicate a lot as far as color typically or design. And again, this is back, I got this back when I was having my fit about summer being over. If you haven't seen that video, um, I think in the subtitle on the thumbnail, I've changed it to, I'm not ready for fall or something like that. But anyway, I found this pillow at Home Goods or TJ Maxx. I'm not sure which one. Um, it's got a gold trim on it and the back has gold flecks sewn into it. It's a really stunner. And again, it doesn't really have orange in it. It has a lot of the same colors that the napkins that I ended up using have in it. As you can see, the this greenish blue is about the same color as my sage 
pumpkin and the little blue blue items in there. So I'm carrying this same color, which looks great with my wall color in here, by the way, I have to say, which is a very pale green. So what did you get with this? I mean, I could have gone deep gold, uh, just neutral cream. I kind of went nuts with something. I think it was limited at the time. Right now, my home goods up here in the Lake St. Louis area is packed with pillows. I could have gotten any one of colors. They've got some of the deepest, most gorgeous browns I've ever seen. And they've got some of the most gorgeous, unusual pillows. I might, if you hang in to the end, I'll give you a sneak peek at something that's going to go home with me. I ended up with something that I would typically hardly ever buy. These are very cushy. So there's not a pillow insert. I'm sure it's like um, batting is in here. But it's a very muted color. Um, our sofa, which you'll see in a minute, is um, kind of gray. And so we've got some gray in here. We've got a little bit of gold, some brown and cream, but predominant, it's very pale. And so when I set it next to this, I love it. It really pulls out those colors. Today, I really wasn't looking for a throw. I have some cream colored throws, or maybe they're white. They're a little too much with it, but I went back today for some lamps for something, and I did find one, and I'm gonna show it to you right now. I actually had one in my cart that was in that bluish, greenish color that it was tone on tone, but it was like whatever, whoever weaved it or whatever, it did have some pumpkins in it. But when I saw this one, I thought, you know what? I'm going to get a lot more use out of this because we have no pumpkins on any of this. This can stay in here throughout winter if I want. Um, so I found this, which, yeah, it's got some striping on it, but it's so mild that it does not compete with this. It complements it. And I hope you can see that. So that's what I got. Um, home goods. This one is called. Um, well, I don't know what it's called. It's got it's got a big long name. It's made in Portugal, and it was nineteen ninety nine. And I like the feel of it. It feels it feels like wool that's not itchy. If that makes any sense to you. All right, I'm gonna just do up my sofa real quick for you. I am not hiding the mess back there. You can see it. Um, actually, it was all cleaned up. I'm packing to go home. I'm cleaning up from um, babysitting for, I don't know, four days or something. And I decided on a whim, I'm going to move the desk out. I'm going to get all the alcohol out of that and move that thing. I've, I've just got all these ideas of things I want to do because this house is not my happy place yet. And um, I'll talk about that another day. But right now, I'm just gonna show you. See, I was using this, that's way too white for what I've got going on. And I think you'll see that, I'll, I'll do that part first. I'll cut the tags off and we'll pop that in. So I can see that the stripe is only on one side, so I want that coming down, otherwise it'll just be cream.
I showed this and I don't know if it shows on camera. There's actually glitter paint or something in, in these gold trees. So pretty. So I'm going to do the coffee table real quick. It's going to be quick. I've had, I don't know if you can see it, but I've had this wood tray on there since last fall. Oops. Um, it's brown. I'm a little over it. It's also kind of, it's deep and it's not that big. I have a black tray over there in the kitchen I could use, but black on black. So I'm going way different. Um, uh, there's not a lot of white in here, but yet I do have some white in those pillows and my fireplace is still white, unless you guys tell me to paint it. And then this aluminum, I picked this up at um, a little boutique here in the area uh, last spring. And I know it's an odd tray, but I'm just gonna make it work. And I like that it'll pop. There won't be a lot on here. I like to talk into the camera where you see me most of the time. So um, I just picked this one up. I don't know if you saw any of my last videos. Some of my candles are getting way down to here. So it's time to invest in a couple new ones. I did link um, a couple videos ago, the Sand and Fog, which is one of my favorites on Amazon. They can range, if you buy them off season, they're more reasonable. But if you're looking at fall right now, they're, the cheapest one I found was like $26. They do last a long time. Um, but this is not how much I paid for this one. I don't know why there's no price tag on it. There, I think they're somewhere, they, they're somewhere between, I don't know. I don't think they're anywhere $8 anymore. I think they could be as high as 14 at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. But this one is um, White Pumpkin. Oh, I love that smell. And if you can tell, it is my color. It is the color that's in the pillows. It's the color that's up there. And it's fall. I just, I mean, who knew you could really, really decorate an entire house for fall with no orange? I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm going to take the lid off because I like the smell. And I'll light it later. Uh, I bought, I brought with me about three or four bins of all my extra pumpkins. Um, so they're in the garage. So I just went and got some that didn't have any orange in them. <laughs> so I have two little cream ones. It's like a really mild butter color. And then I've got a, a green one here. And so I'm just going to place those in there. You can watch. Okay, so you saw my, uh, and I'm going to go back to the mantle before we're all said and done. But anyway, we used this uh, yesterday as an option for a centerpiece. But um, since a lot, I've got two spots in here where the hydrangeas already are, the blue hydrangeas. They're on top of the mantle and they're at the base of the mantle. So I'm tying it together with a little basket of the same right here. And I'm just going to put in my little Carrera marble. Coasters. And that's it. I think that looks great. Okay, I'm 
going to talk about some things I want to do in Hit This Room yet, and I'm going to show you a couple things I did for the sake of time I didn't have you watch. And then I'll show you the whole room and a little surprise. I we I hung these two pictures, French country, um, last, I guess, spring. And I have a little shelf underneath them. So I just changed out what was on there. I mean, I had some a uh, little bit of uh, lavender or something sprinkled, but I kept the bird. I've got a bird on both sides. They're very symmetrical. Um, I have, I told you I have a whole bunch of apples and then a, a few of these pears. So I just thought I'd keep that going because I really didn't have a whole lot of stuff. These are things that um, I had. Nothing was new. And I just moved that. That was on the mantle. So I moved it over here. And on this side, same two things, the bird, the pear, and the apple. And then I was in the basement and found this iron cross that also has a bird on the edge of it. So I thought it looked nice with the botanicals. So that's what we've done in here. And I want to show you, um, I added a couple of fluffy pumpkins down here. They are Um, like pillows and you've seen them I'm sure in other places and yeah they're in colors I don't typically use but I really didn't want them standing out all right then I just wanted to tell you about what I wanting to do so both of these chairs come with an ottoman I guess the other one since it's not here must be down in our basement I don't know if I can carry it up on my own I know that in the summer or in other times we have actually put one on either side of here because there's a there's room for it those room for those to be moved over a little bit more and make room. So that's an option. It, it gives more seating and a little bit more interest. But the real thing that I'm thinking about, I can't put the other ottoman right here because if I pushed it really close into the fireplace, I could maybe, but um, it just would destroy the walkway. There wouldn't be enough room. But I have been wanting some kind of little table and I almost had one in my cart today. It was gold metal. Um, it was just one little pedestal, $49 at um, Home Goods, but it was lightweight enough that a child could pull it over and hurt themselves. And funny thing is I went into Kirkland's and found a table that I just linked for you guys in one of my last videos um, um, from Amazon. They had it more than double the price in Kirkland's and it wasn't even on sale. So it made me think, you know what, I'm going to go take care of this and look on Amazon and see if I can find something. I just want something there for a drink. I don't need to put a lamp. It would be nice, but I don't think I have room for anything big enough. I'm thinking I might do a um, floor lamp back here and then a little table. So that's what I'm thinking. <music> joining me today. I promised you one more little surprise, so I'm going to tell you about that. I'm just going to encourage you, if you have a home goods and you want some quality pillows, now is the time. I have never seen the things. I have a couple in the car. Uh, they're, the, they're two of the same pillow that I don't have in here to show you, but they're not quite as extravagantly beautiful as this. First, my eye was caught by one that had an embroidered fox on it. He was in like a uniform and I just thought that would look pretty 
cool in my husband's study. He's got the hunter pictures. And I just was picking around and then I, I saw this brown and I thought, oh, that's so rich. I love it. And you guys know I hate brown. Well, I don't know. Something's changing in me. I don't know what it is, but this chocolate brown and the other pillow I have, which is not chocolate brown, it's more of a caramel, I'm kind of in love with right now, but it was the other side. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It looks like it's straight out of a needlepoint. Again, I said this the other day, that your grandmother made. And I, by the way, love needlepoint. I used to do it a lot when I was younger and I'd like to get back to it. Anyway, these are gorgeous. And of course they come with you filler pillows, which are nice. Um, <clears throat> $39.99 for this. This is, um, it says it's Heinz of Oxford. The Heinz story started on Oxford High Street in 1830 when William Hine opened the original bespoke tailoring company, the beginning of a long established tradition in fine quality textiles. Today, the Heinz brand is appreciated worldwide for the tapestry cushions and home accessories. Discover how the Heinz, okay, on and on. So it's, um, it's from, uh, the United Kingdom, and this one is called Country Hunt. I just think it's gorgeous. So anyway, this is going home with me. The colors are really where I'm headed for Christmas and fall anyway. I've got the dark green, a little bit, oh golly, he's got, I don't know, he just feels gorgeous. But the chairs in my husband's study, which they look great there, my his study is Krypton, which is a very bluish gray, even more bluish than our bedroom upstairs. So we'll see how it works, but I just love it. All right, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed my mantle and the ideas that I have for the cottage. I hope you'll come back again. If you're uh, so inclined, I would appreciate a thumbs up like. If you can share, share. Um, if you can comment, comment. And I will see you in my next one. I'm going to tell you it's getting dark. I don't have a ring light, but I've decided to leave at five in the morning so I can keep working. Whether I can get another video done here or not, I'll be in a different outfit. Um, but it's going to be dark, so we'll see how it works. But I really have at least two more in me that I could possibly get ready for tonight. And that's, I just love to bring this to you. Um, it When I can get this, this house feeling happy, like my happy place. <laughs> Otherwise, when I get here, it just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not happy. So I'm, this, I'm doing this for me as much as my audience. I know you enjoy it. I enjoy it. So, you know, we're helping each other. I'm going to see you next time, you guys. Make your home your happy place. See ya. Bye. Mm -hmm.